Hey guys, so today I am going to film this makeup tutorial. I wore it in uh, my collective haul video and Young Love requested that I do a tutorial. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Okay, so I've already put on my foundation and I did my eyebrows. So the next thing I will be doing is putting on some eye shadow primer. Um, the one I'll be using is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So I'll just put some of that on. So today I will be using the original Naked Palette with this Coastal Suns brush. I just got this in an Ipsy bag and it just has like a larger um, brush head for all over the lid. So I'm just going to go in with Naked and then um, this virgin color. So I'll just kind of swipe, swipe, tap. I do that a few times. And then pat it on the lid. And do the other eye. Anytime you're combining shadows like this, you just want to make sure that you have an even distribution on both eyes. And it looks good enough to me so we will be moving on to the crease color and I'm gonna be using Buck in the crease I love Buck it is the perfect crease color and this is a MAC brush it's totally worn off maybe a 280 it's just kind of um, it's smaller than the Coastal Sense brush and it's kind of flat and um, tapered swipe it tap always tap or you're gonna get a ton of fallout uh, and you don't want that I'm just going to take the colors on this side so I'm just gonna kind of press it flat against my eye going in and slightly above the crease so I've turned it in and then I kind of fade it out like toward the inner part of my eye I have large eyes with a lot of lid space so if you have smaller eyes or you have limited lid space, you know, you're, you might have to put it a little bit above the crease to kind of create a wider eye. And I'll do the other eye. So now I'm going to take this MAC 224 blush brush and just blend that out so you don't want to aggressively blend or you're just going to uh, muddy all of the colors so I just kind of probably looks more heavy-handed than what I'm actually doing this is a pretty fluffy brush so I'm just kind of going over um, the top of where I put this buck in my crease but anytime I don't put liner on the bottom, I like to just kind of put a little shadow there so it kind of finishes the look. So I'm going to take um, Buck with this just, it just kind of, I don't know, it was from Ulta. It's Ulta Eyeliner Brush. It's just a small um, flat brush. And again, just swiping it on Buck, tapping, and then running it along the lower lash line. Just to kind of warm up the eye. Now if you want to add a little highlight, I've already kind of used a cream highlighter under my brows, but I'll just go back in with Virgin, tap, and just kind of pat it along the brow bone. If you have um, small eyes, you can also pop a little bit of this in the inner corners, and that'll also widen your eyes. Okay, so I've already curled my lashes. I like to do that um, usually at the beginning, like when I've done my foundation. My lashes are pretty straight and they tend to like kind of fall. So I do that, that way if I need to touch it up, I can do it before I apply my eyeliner. So I always like to tight line my eyes. Um, it makes your lashes look fuller. But if you wear contacts, you do have to be careful because it can transfer onto your lens, which happens to me a lot. But I've been using this NYX waterproof liner in black, and I haven't really had a problem with it. So 
I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I kind of hold my lashes back to expose that inner um, waterline. Okay, so now that I have my tight line done, I'm going to use this Too Faced 3-Way Lash Lining Tool. I got it in Sephora's Glitz and Glam bag. It has, I don't know if you can see this, it's kind of like a three-pronged tip. And then if you turn it this way, it's a lot thinner. So I make sure to run it along my top lashes that way. So use whatever black liner you have and just line your top eye. So I usually start slow, like in the middle of, I mean in the inner corner of the eye. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. The eyeliner that I use is kind of a sloppy application, and I'm not real great at eyeliner anyway, so you can always touch up with a Q-tip, and then I always go back in with um, some of my concealer, and my favorite concealer is like all busted up, so I keep it in this little Tupperware thing, but it's the Balm Time Balm Concealer, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a concealer brush to kind of fix mistakes and cover up some of the redness. Okay, so to finish the eye, just go ahead and put on your favorite mascara. I'm going to use this sample size of Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And for the bottom lashes, I'm going to use this CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. And this is in black brown, I think. And I'm just using a light touch on the bottom. All right, so now we are going to finish the face. I'm going to do just a subtle natural contour with this Pixi bronzer that I also got from Ipsy in Subtly Sun Touched. So I'm going to use this Sonia Kashuk um, angled, I guess it's a contour brush, I don't know. Fishy face. So I'm going under the cheekbone and then I'll just bring it a little bit over to my temples. And blend. God, this brush sheds. And so for blush, I'm going to use this Be A Bombshell Sweet Cheeks Blush. I guess Sweet Cheeks is the color. Um, I also got this from Ipsy. It is just a nice bright pink blush. And I just have this random blush brush from Clinique. I want it focused on out and kind of bring it in. And blend. Finally, we're going to do the lips. So, also from Ipsy. I mean, I my God, everything I own, <laughs> I've gotten from Ipsy, I think. This is an Urban Decay lipstick in Anarchy. It's just this, I love the packaging. It's so cute. This really bright pink. Get it as even as you can, but then you can always touch up with your concealer brush. Okay, and then I'm going to top it with this Urban Decay Shine Cooling Lip Gloss and Quickie. It's just a similar color. It's a bright pink sticky lip gloss. So, I'm just going to Put a little bit of that on. And dab it. On. That'll just um, give your lip a higher shine. Right? Is that what I wanted to say? Yes. Alright, so that's the look. It's just a neutral eye winged liner. 
and bold lip. You can do pink, red, purple lip, whatever you want. So now that I've got a full face of makeup on, I am going to go do my laundry. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Do you like my shirt?